before your presence, oh God. We thank you, oh God, that you are here in this place. We thank you, oh Lord, that your eyes are, that your eyes are upon us. And Lord, we lay every burden upon your feet because you do not desire us to carry, oh Lord. God, and rejoice, oh God, because you are the living God, that you are steadfast and that you are everlasting. We declare, we thank you, oh Lord, that you reign forever, oh Lord, and that victory is in you. And, oh Lord, as we come tonight, oh Lord, God, we come tonight and we just lay everything on your feet. We praise you, oh God, we exalt you in this place. And Lord, we thank you, O oh Lord, that you have placed us in high places with you tonight, O oh Lord, to intercede on behalf of the church in Ukraine. Lord, we just thank you, O oh Lord, that your will will be established tonight, O oh God, that your word shall go forth and it shall not return void. We're now going to go into a time of singing in the word from Isaiah 56. I invite you to open your Bibles. Um, just before that, um, I would like to explain uh, a little about what's going on in Ukraine so we get a better idea of uh, what we are praying for in Ukraine. For those who are unaware of uh, just everything that is happening right now. Okay, so just a summary that has been going on. We've actually been praying for Ukraine the last two weeks here on Tuesday night, and this will be our third night to lift up intercession for Ukraine. Uh, so this last uh, November, protesters uh, gathered to speak against the corruption in the Ukrainian government. They just didn't agree a lot with what was going on, and they voiced opposition to the then-president, uh, Viktor Yunukovych, uh, who decided to strengthen ties to Russia rather than carrying out his uh, promised trade deal with the U European Union. Uh, the tension escalated, and uh, both protesters and the military uh, uh, resorted to heavy violence and uh, over nine, 90 prote protesters were killed uh, in this and many were injured. Uh, and uh, the president, uh, Victor, he fled from UK Ukraine in February and a temporary government was formed at that time. Uh, actually, the 
this government, um, the temporary like president, uh, is actually uh, a, he is Baptist, and it is um, it is said that he is uh, like actually a pastor as well. Um, uh, it is President uh, Oleksandr Turkunov, and he's just acting as president now until the elections in May, on May 25th. So praise God that uh, we can see already his hand is moving in Ukraine. Uh, just uh, so a lot has been happening, and then this last week, uh, uh, Russian sent military forces. Uh, well, it's set in uh, military forces in Crimea, which is just uh, like southeast of Ukraine. Uh, if you see the map right there, uh, Crimea is on the bottom southeast and um, there's just a lot of political uh, politics about um, that used to actually belong to Russia but then Russia gave it to Ukraine um, so there are a lot of Russians living in Crimea so Russia sent military forces into Crimea to pro supposedly protect the many ethnic Russians living in um, Crimea uh, recently Russia annexed Crimea following the Crimean referendum on March 16th, um, but U Ukraine and Western authorities have rejected this referendum and they declare that the vote is illegal. They do not agree with this decision. Um, so now just Russia is continuing to heavily exercise, mili uh, exercise military force in Crimea. Um, they've taken over a number of bases located in Crimea and even uh, two uh, vessels that are in the surrounding area in the sea. Um, and then the United States plans to increase its presence just in Eastern Europe and Poland. And this week, uh, President Obama and um, the leaders of the G7 group um, will be meeting to just discuss the ongoings in that area. Okay, and then tonight as we lift up, just a church. Um, there is the Greek Catholic Church and as well as the Orthodox Church of various uh, denominations. Um, just as we lift up to the church tonight, we just want to pray that there will be a unification uh, within the church despite all that's going on. Uh, and we just pray f um, as we just keep in mind that yeah, we just desire for Jesus Christ to be revealed um, among the church and that uh, his, his will will be established. Okay. okay, so now we will be entering a time of uh, singing in the word from Isaiah 56, uh, 1 through 5. Okay, 50, Isaiah 56, 1. This is what the Lord says, maintain justice and do what is right. For my salvation is close at hand and my righteousness will soon be revealed. Lord, we just come before you all, Lord, and we just pray for the church in Ukraine. God, we just pray that your righteousness will be seen, O oh Lord, in the church in Ukraine, O oh God, that your will will be established, Lord, that your justice shall be seen, O oh God, your salvation shall be seen in Ukraine, O oh Lord. And we just pray for the church in Ukraine, O oh God, that you would uh, strengthen them, O oh God, that they would move, O oh Lord, on your heart. They would not move for their own gain, O oh Lord, that they would not move, O oh God, uh, yeah, for selfish reasons, O oh God, but they would see your heart, O oh Lord, and just pray for. We just pray for God awakening in the church, O oh Lord, that they would just seek after your heart, O oh God, that they would desire to know you, O oh Lord, and to just seek after you to do what is right, O oh God, your desire and your will at this hour.
Isaiah 56, 2. Blessed is the one who does this, the person who holds it fast, who keeps the Sabbath without desecrating it and keeps their hands from doing any evil. God, we just lift up to you the church of Ukraine tonight. And we just pray, oh God, that your people, oh Lord, that they would hold to you, oh God, that they would remain steadfast, oh Lord. They would hold steadfast unto you, oh Lord. They would not turn their gaze from you, oh Lord, but they would, they would keep your eyes upon you, oh Lord. We thank you, oh Lord, that you call them blessed, oh God, that you call them blessed, oh Lord, that you call them blessed, that your eyes is upon them, oh God, and you call them steadfast, oh Lord, that you call them faithful, oh God. So we just thank you for your your church, oh Lord, and we pray, oh God, that you just strengthen their hands.
we just yeah lord we just thank you lord for the intercession that is being led 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 up to you tonight oh lord that is being lifted up to you tonight oh god and we thank you oh lord that you hear every single one of our voices oh god that you hear our prayers oh lord that you hear uh the songs that we the new songs that we are singing from our mouth oh lord that it is pleasant to your ears oh lord that you you are pleased with us tonight lord and that you are shifting things oh lord we think you are shifting things in ukraine and among the church in ukraine lord and that you're just establishing your peace lord that you're establishing your righteousness and justice
do, oh God, I look to you. You're where my help comes from. You are. Give me wisdom. You know just what to do, God. I, God, I look to you. I won't be overwhelmed. Give me vision to see things like you do. just what to do I will love you Lord my strength I will love you Lord my shield I will love you Lord my rock forever all my days I will love you seed for the church in Ukraine from Isaiah 56. Isaiah 56, 3. Let no foreigner who is bound to the Lord say, the Lord will surely exclude me from his people. And let no eunuch complain, I am only a dry tree. God, we just lift up to you the church in Ukraine. Oh God, we thank you, oh God, that your hand is upon them, Lord, that you see them. Oh God, and that 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 they find their source from you, Lord, that they will, shall not run dry, Lord. They should not lose their strength. They should not become re- weary because they find their strength in you. So, I, Lord, we pray tonight, oh Lord, that their eyes will be upon you, oh God, they will see, Lord, that they find their strength they find their salvation, they find their hope, they find their peace in you, you who are steadfast and who are unchanging. Oh, you are the source of our strength. There is no separation. In the hardest of times, you are our strength. When everything gets turned upside down, Jesus, you are unchanging. You are unchanging. You are unchanging. You are unchanging, 
the eunuchs who keep my Sabbath, who choose what pleases me and hold fast to my covenant. To them I will give within my temple and its walls a memorial and a name better than sons and daughters. I will give them an everlasting name that will endure forever. God, you call those who are your own, those who belong to you. Oh God, you have an everlasting covenant with them, Lord, that you shall not forsake them, you shall not leave them, that you give unto them, Lord, your presence, O God, the gift of your presence, O God, the gift of everlasting life. God, we pray tonight that the church in Ukraine, they will see you clearly, they will get a better revelation of Jesus Christ, they will get a better revelation of this gift they have received, which is Jesus Christ and to live with him forever, for eternity. Oh God, would you come and cover your people tonight with your love. Let them see you, the spirit of wisdom and of revelation. special way special way tonight like never before God
story. 
God, we exalt you, Lord, that you are king and lord over the church in Ukraine, oh God. You are king and lord here. And Father, we take back what the enemy has stolen. And we just establish your, the church in Ukraine in love, in peace, and greater faith, oh Lord. That, and we declare that our eyes are set on you. So we thank you, oh Lord, for releasing a refreshment tonight a renewed strength. doesn't have 
have to be so loud, it doesn't have to be so crazy. Oh, come, oh, come, I'll come in your still small voice. Oh, God, speak to your people. Speak to your people of who you are. Speak to your people of who they are, oh God, that you've not forgotten them, that you've not forgotten them, you've not forgotten your promises for one day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years is like a day for you, God, and you are not slow to fulfill your promises, oh God. Oh, may your people just trust in who you are, trust in who you are. We say all fear of man be broken down. We say all fear of a man be broken down, oh God, because you are in control. You are in control. You are in control. You are strong. You are strong. You are strong. You are strong. And you are able to bring peace into this land. For their cries are heard. Every prayer is heard. Not one word falls to the ground. But you keep them in your heart, oh God. You are faithful, God. You are faithful, God. You are faithful, God. You are faithful, God. You are faithful. Faithful God, you 
will now be going into a time of prayer for the church in Ukraine. So I encourage you to take up authority in Jesus Christ. As I lead out in prayer, come into agreement with me and afterwards, please lift up your intercession to the Lord. Lord, we come before you. We come before you lifting up prayers to Ukraine. Your heart is for Ukraine. Your heart is for the church of Ukraine. Your eyes are upon them. So Lord, we come into agreement what you are doing already in Ukraine, Lord, and we just pray that your kingdom be established in Ukraine. And Lord, we uh, just pray for a release of peace in the nation, among the church. We disallow the spirit of fear. We just break off all fear in the name of Jesus Christ. We just pray, Lord, especially for those in Crimea, Lord, that they would not be moved by fear of man, that would not be moved by rumors of war, Lord, but they shall fear you alone. God, we just pray for a renewed mind, Lord, that that they would be led by the Holy Spirit. They're not... Uh, turn eyes to the flesh, to turn eyes to their own survival, or um, just getting by, Lord, but that they will see, Lord, that they have abundance in you, Lord, that you set the righteous in the land, and they should not be moved. And we pray, Lord, that the church will be overwhelmed with your love, Lord, because your love casts out all fear. We pray, oh God, that their ears be open to hear and receive from you, to receive your love, oh God. We just pray for it, that increase your cap capacity to receive from you, Lord. And we just pray, oh God, that we seek you with our whole hearts, Lord. They would seek your face, they would seek your heart, they would seek to know you with their whole hearts. Let's pray. Lies or deceptions, 
Lord, or any miscommunication, oh God, but they would seek your help fully, oh Lord, and they would uh, just be obedient to you, oh Lord, and release forgiveness. And Lord, just as uh, we just pray, oh God, just a shift in that, oh Lord, and also, oh Lord, that through this, oh God, a spirit of honor would just go forth, oh God, and that healing would go forth among the church and in Ukraine, upon the nation, oh God, that you've just been healing upon the nation. Lord, we just pray that that there would be just unity in the church, oh God, despite any differences, Lord, or even uh, theology, oh God, differences, differences and just mindsets, Lord, we just pray, oh God, that there would be uh, established in your word, they would be established in your truth, Lord, they would come into agreement in Jesus Christ. And we pray, oh God, that you, they would be united in prayer as well, oh God, for your intervention in Ukraine. We just pray for an increase, oh God, a momentum, oh God, a stirring in hearts, oh Lord, among the church in Ukraine, oh God, that they will continue to pray, oh God, they will continue in faith, they will continue in steadfast, oh Lord, and they will not let it fall to the ground, oh Lord. We do not let... Yeah, we disallow just an agreement in futility, oh Lord, of seeing things in the natural. And we just pray, oh God, that you would renew their strength. They would set their identity in you, oh Lord. We just pray, oh Lord, that it may go deeper, oh Lord, that it would go deeper, oh Lord, it will go deeper, oh Lord, and that your glory may be revealed.
salvations that it wouldn't be only culturally, culturally Christian you can't not only be culturally Christian Lord but 
that one day would just rise up and carry your heart, Lord, that would be seek after your heart, oh God, they would seek to know you, and that you would set them apart, oh God. We pray, Lord, that you would set Ukraine apart for you, that it would be a nation under God. And we pray, Lord, that people would find yeah, all that they are in you, and we pray, Lord, that families and cities, Lord, they would be led to Christ, that would be led to know you, Jesus Christ, that would be able to receive the gospel. And Lord, we just pray out Jeremiah 31, 33, that, Lord, that you would put the heart, your heart in them, Lord, that you would call them your people, Lord, that they would know you as their God, oh God, and that you would know them fully. So we just pray, Lord, that there will be a mighty harvest of salvations at this time. Let's pray. president at this time that it will be fulfilled we nullify uh, any plans of enemy to interrupt the task which you have given him and we just pray the blood of Jesus Christ upon him and those that are underneath his authority uh, and just upon upon um, the nation of Ukraine Lord that your will will be done and Lord we just uh, come into agreement oh Lord with what you have for the future of Ukraine 
Lord, we believe, oh God, that you have mighty things and great things for this nation. We pray, oh God, that you would appoint a godly person who, Lord, that would fear you, that would move in justice and righteousness, that would not be moved by fear of man, that would not uh, move for uh, move in greed or for just selfish gain, but they would, but he or she would just move um, for the benefit of the people. Just would move uh, after your heart. And let me also lift up to you uh, just a meeting that will be later this week among the leaders among uh, the major nations, Lord, the G7 leaders. We just pray, Lord, that uh, they will get revelation from you, Lord, that we we'll seek guidance from you. Lord, and that your will would be established, Lord, uh, just concerning Ukraine and Russia. Lord, that the end result will be for your glory. Let's pray.
your presence would be so thick that they cannot help but to encounter the living God who loves them dearly, who loves them extravagantly, who loves them with so much strength, with so much fire. God, reveal yourself tonight to your church in Ukraine, to your people who are in distress, who are in despair. Father, we speak forth the garment of praise and worship to come upon them tonight, God, that all burden, all weariness come off of them, come off their shoulders. For you have carried the weight. You have carried the cross for us, God. Jesus, we ask that you would reveal yourself mightily tonight. church tonight, God, to see you rightly, to see you for who you are, not just um, a figure in the Bible, not just some um, idol that they worship, God, but you are a living God. You breathe, and you are alive. You move, and you speak. So, Lord, reveal yourself like never before tonight to your church, God, and from that place they would gain strength and faith, Lord they can overcome all uh, testing and trials that they're going through right now all the uproar all the distress and violence and all the battle that is happening father right now not just in the na uh, natural but in the spirit as well god that your people would just take their place of authority father and move forward father in this at this hour so we lift them up to you tonight we thank you for your presence god make yourself so open to us so open to us God for us to come and rest we thank you Lord that you call us to be your intercessors God you call us to be your people thank you Jesus we love you we lift up tonight to you we lift up all our prayers to you tonight 